Hey, the Roman period stretches back for more than 2,000 years, and they're still pulling artifacts out of the ground today. Just amazing discoveries, and I'm gonna show you some of them this week on The Weekly Dirt. Hey everybody, DK here with Adventures in Dirt and welcome to snowy Colorado. That's right, we're getting a pretty good snow today and I'm out here on the porch just talking to you about some of the incredible finds that came up this week in our world of metal detecting. Hey, this week I've got all kinds of finds. I've got old coins, I've got jewelry, I've got gold, I've got ancient relics that date back more than 2,000 years. I'm telling you, I've got it all for you this week. But first up, hey, I wanna to talk to you about a great channel, a great channel called Metal Detecting Face. He was out digging this week and found all kinds of great artifacts and his first gold. Let's check it out this week from Metal Detecting Face. Watch this. Good morning, we're back behind that railway station. We're right on the middle of the tr where the tracks were. We're going to do these woods again and see what we find. Look at this tiny, miniature little pot. Tub. I-C-I, I-G-I. At the moment, I don't know what that was. Nice though, tiny. Honestly, it popped into the hole. That's a penny. George, somebody. Nineteen nineteen again. Is it? Yep, we had one of those last last week as well in that video. Nineteen nineteen penny. Right underneath this tree, is this a gold ring? Is that a ring? I bet it's not. I bet it's anything but a gold ring. But come on is this my first ever gold object oh look it does look gold oh i don't know if i should get excited or not it's quite big as well oh torture what is that is that a gold ring or what i need to know it's not that heavy all right give me a second let's see uh... I can't see anything. Hold on, a two minutes, right? <laughs> right, now I can get excited. It is. Look. <laughs> First ever gold ring. First ever gold. I have never found gold until today. In the woods, of all places. Definitely hallmarked. Never going to focus on that. Look, look. A gold ring! Gold, gold, gold underneath this tree. Which one of you has lost your ring? Hey, what a great week this week from Metal Detecting Face. Not only did he pull his first gold ring, but he also found some incredible artifacts and some great old coins. Everyone, if you're not a fan, head on over to his channel, Metal Detecting Face. Go become a subscriber. Tell him you saw him here on the Weekly Dirt. It's a great channel. You should go check that one out. All right, everyone. Hey, let's go check in with the Stealth Diggers. Boy, just an incredible find this week. Check this out from Charlie and the gang. Watch this, the Stealth Diggers. Check this out. Well, I've walked way out into one of the old backfields, and I got this signal. So this is going to be my culture. Whoa! Unbelievable! Seriously? How many times this year have I dug cufflinks that were the culture? <gasps> but these got stones in them! I have never dug a set of cufflinks like this. Wait for it. There's stuff in there, but I can't see. So when we get back to the shack, and we're looking at them, Keebs is convinced that that's gold inside there. So the fact it looks like, yes indeed, there is gold inside here, got Keebs really curious, and he spent some days researching these cufflinks. Well, the smart thing to do is not clean them out here because I don't want to risk damaging them, but, uh, show you the pictures 
You guys ready for this? Keebs messages me a couple days later and holy mackerel. He found the exact match of these cufflinks and here's the description. Stuart crystal cufflinks are faceted rock crystal quartz with gold wire ciphers. They were produced in support of the monarchy after the execution of King Charles in 1649. Whoa! That has got to be one of the oldest confirmed finds I have ever had. Unbelievable. Now see, a place like this, we've dug so many shotgun shells. It's Liberty Hill. There's a lot of freedom going on around here. But you gotta dig them. Jesus. Awesome find, Charlie. I'm telling you, those cufflinks, pretty amazing, dating back to the 1600s. How awesome is that? That's what we live for, right? Just amazing, amazing discovery here in the States. Awesome job. Congratulations, Stealth Diggers. Everyone, head on over to the channel, check it out, watch this entire video. It's a really cool one. You gotta go check them out. Hey, this was an incredible week for Harry over at iDetect. Boy, hammers, Romans, you name it, just some incredibly old artifacts pulling out of those fields over there. Let's go check in with them. Check this out. I detect. Watch this. And it is day two of the John 316 Bonanza. <laughs> it is about five to nine in the morning. Take a look at that. Got a nice Roman Emperor's head there facing to the right. The back side looks better than the front, actually. Look at that. That's a beauty, mate. Yeah. So that's, that looks like an eagle, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that one. And if I think correctly, the Roman standard was an eagle, wasn't it? Like one of their main kind of symbols. Yeah. I'll on top of the staff. Yeah. yeah, take a look at this. That's an absolutely beauty, John. What a find, man. Yeah, Do you reckon, can you turn it over, John? I've got my hands full. And on the back there, we've got two Roman soldiers with a standard in between them. I do apologise if you're getting any wind noise. But John, mate, that's beautiful. That's almost as good as the last one. Yeah. And look at that. And that was a real scratchy signal as well, wasn't it, John? Yeah, it must have been on hand or something. Yeah, that's a beauty, mate. Well done, John. I had this cracking target here on the amphibio. And who can guess what it's going to be? Take a look at this. I literally scooped the soil out, and this is what I saw. It looks like a Roman. But is it going to be a... Okay, I think it is going to be a reasonably nice one. I can see a face already. That is actually in a lot better condition than I first thought. So you can quite clearly see we have got a Roman emperor on this side. He's got a bit of a giraffe neck, a bit of a long neck. And on the back, it does appear to be a bird. Gonna be. Oh my God. That is the one with the cross and the P, and it's in good condition. Get in there, come on. Can you see there, there's the cross with the P. People who's been on my channel for a while will know exactly what that is because we've found a couple of these coins before. The cross and the P is the first, well, one of the early signs of Christianity. So, in Britain, we were pagans. When the Romans come on over, they converted us all to Christianity, and this was one of the early signs they brought with them. Wow, like I said, hammers, Romans, just some incredible artifacts. Harry's always pulling out over there on his channel. Boy, head on over there, become a subscriber. You will not be disappointed. Some great, great detecting going on over there from iDetect using the new Amphibio machine. Just an amazing, amazing, great job, guys. Hey, and if you like that, I'm telling you, I've got a channel for you, Tenor455.UK Metal Detecting. I am telling you, he was on the old, old finds this week. Boy, you want to go back 2,000 years? Check this out this week from tenor45.uk metal detecting. Watch this. Check this out. It's slightly different to the norm. I thought it was a halfpenny. Come up quite a high tone. Up in the uh, high 80s. Pinger though, nice, nice sort of tone. And then on the other side we've got some. Um, V O C seventeen eighty six.
this one we has produced some Romans before and I think I may just pull the biggie out Yeah, look at that. Nice big Roman coin. There you go, look at that. Cracker. Superb. Come on, focus. Yeah, that's not bad, Roman. Very nice. Looks like a Constantine. With the natives either side of a standard. Quite nice, getting a few. Some of them are just grot, some of them are all right. So nothing silver yet though. Keep fingers crossed. But dad's in. He's got a really nice um, snake buckle fastener, whatever you want to call them. I am gobsmacked because this is one of the best animal brooches I've ever had, if not the best. It's a lion. It's a Roman lion. That's absolutely astounding. The fact that it's a, ro a lion and it's Roman from Europe is incredible. I am blown away and that's what detecting is all about to me. That has gone right up there to being one of the, my best of all time finds. I watch this little video and I don't know what I like more. I don't know if I like the old Roman coins he found or the old, old lion brooch. What an amazing discovery. Congratulations, my friend. Awesome job. Everyone, head on over to this channel, become a subscriber, become a fan. You have to watch this entire video. Again, I could not squeeze it all into this little clip. You gotta go check it all out. Tinner455.uk metal detecting. Go become a fan. Go check out his channel. Hey, here come some announcements. The Divi Detectorist. Yeah, they're having a great giveaway. I'm going to put a link down below. You head on over there. Go follow the rules. Get involved. Tell them you saw them here on the Weekly Dirt. And good luck to everyone. The Divi Detectorist. Got to go check it out. Link's down below. Hey, I need to remind you about a great online magazine out there. Detecting365.com. Boy, if you have not been there, you need to head on over there and check it out. You talk about some great articles. You want to learn about door knocking. You want to learn about permissions. You want to learn about detector settings. You want to learn about all kinds of information. Head on over there. Detecting365.com. It's an incredible online magazine. You need to head on over there and check that out. I'll put the link down below. Tell you what, his editor also has a great YouTube page called Ozarks. And Ozarks is having a giveaway. I'm going to put a link down below. He's trying to reach a thousand subs on his own YouTube page. Head on over there, give him some support. Tell him you saw him here on the Weekly Dirt and help him get to that thousand sub mark where he's going to do this great giveaway. You can go check it all out. Links down below. Hey, and what are y'all doing Wednesday night? Well, I hope the answer is you're going to come join me on my new show, Digger Spotlight, as I host my special guests, Plugmaster Ford and Missouri Mike. That's right. This Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, you got to come join us November 14th. You got to come tune in. You got to become part of the chat. You got to get involved. There's going to be a giveaway. There's going to be a lot of fun conversation going on. Check it out. The Plugmaster himself will be there along with Missouri Mike. Awesome guests on my new show, Digger Spotlight. That's right, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Hey, I hope to see you all there. It should be a lot of fun. That's what I have for you this week on the Weekly Dirt. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you next Sunday.